Hi Capricorn Twin Flames. This is a special channel message. Oh my gosh. Clearing and card reading healing for you. Sorry, I can't even talk. Okay. To start this off, happy 1111 portal. And I am offering a special from 1111 to 1122 for my Twin Flame and Soulmate Viber gigs. You, whichever level you purchase, you automatically get the next level up. And after you leave your review, you will get a um, video, a special healing video I'm going to do for the Divine Feminine Twin Flames. Hopefully it'll be about an hour long and it will be um, around the 22nd. I'll have that done. So I'm very excited about that. And let's get started with your reading. So they did, as I was shuffling your cards, they did um, point out the feather. They are wanting your energy to be light as a feather. Um, you guys are really coming to the very tail end of this extremely intense couple of years. So I do think that you've gone through like a massive transformation and you know next level awakening um they're showing me in some of your in some spots you know your heart may have hardened a little <laughs> they're showing me like an overcooked chicken breast um there may be a few spots in there that are tender and then also um tough and they want you to balance that out that tenderness um it's not a tenderness in like it's like a tender when you have a bruise like you don't want anyone to poke it so they want you to try to soften the hardened spots and then balance out the other spots um okay so they're offering you a very beautiful never seen this before um uh, it's they're calling it a hard tonic it's like a blue sparkly Ooh, 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 and one flip. Look at that. I love synchronicities. Letting go. All right, they're offering you a blue sparkly um, tonic to let go of whatever you're holding on to. Okay, anything that you're holding on to in your heart that's causing you They're saying jeopardy. They're causing you to feel like you're in jeopardy or unbalanced. It's clear, uncreate, and just story that now across all time, space, and dimension. Thank you. If you'd like this healing, say yes now. If you'd like this blue sparkly tonic that they're offering you to wash over your heart, say yes now. Thank you, spirit. Okay. All in all, guide the and masters and spirit. Source energy, your higher selves, twin flame higher self, your soul. And let's get started. That was very beautiful. Okay. Well, that's nice. I want this up right. Okay. I knew the devil was going to come out. Some of you may be dealing with Sagittarius. Yeah. Some of you are dealing with Sagittarius. Okay. Um, Battle of the deck, Six of Swords. This is crazy, honestly. This is just crazy. King of Cups. I just did the Sagittarius reading. And it's so, so interesting. 
So you both have judgment. Very interesting. <sighs> I'm going to put that on your person because that came up. In the last reading. So you both have judgment here. The devil in reverse. You may be... You may be trying to be out of your emotions. And they may be trying to pull you into your emotions kind of by any means possible. I do get this real push-pull energy here, really back and forth, this Five of Swords, Ten of Wands, Devil energy. With the... I feel like you're not trusting them at all, and you just have your guard up, and then they have their guard up. And it's kind of like this cycle that just keeps going around and around. And they want you to let it go. They want you to learn the lesson now. They want you to, you know, you have life purpose here twice. Um, they're wanting you to move forward now. And they're saying being caught in this cycle is not your purpose. You're not even... And this is from them not being honest with yourself. Like, you're not being honest with yourself. And they're saying the Five of Swords is mostly with yourself. And your person, I almost get this feeling that your person counterpart is trying to get you to grow out of it. I mean, it's so similar to the last message reversed. It's crazy. Um... I almost think that they're like denying this connection to you and denying that you're even a choice of theirs and to get you like to get your attention to get you your vision to like to get you to surrender You know, I feel like your person may be even more connected to spirit right now than you are because I feel like you're deceiving yourself about something. <sighs> what is it? What is the deception here? Wow. You have two of cups in reverse also. Such heavy mirroring going on in this piles. Um, you both want to come back together. You, They want to heal this cycle. I get the sense that they're trying to be seen as this King of Cups. They may not be able to, like, provide what you want right now monetarily. But I do get the sense for some reason in this upper row, even though the cards aren't really there. Look at that. Five of Swords. Ten of Cups. You know, they're not going to put the work in right now, even though they know that this is a divine con connection. They know for sure. I think they're saying that they're denying it if you're talking about it. But I get the sense that they are like going off and like playing or doing something with someone else. <laughs> Trying to get this cycle to transform. And for you to surrender into this deep deep feeling, this deep 
life purpose that you have. And I actually do think that it may involve communication. <sighs> you know, you do want to let it go. You don't like this feeling of being bound to this cycle of conflict. This may be a situation where they're in and out of your life, back and forth, constantly. When they show up, you know, they're king of cups. And then they're off, um, you know, they're off. Oops. They're off being the fool again, doing whatever they feel like doing. Because they throw your energy all over the place. And you're not being grounded and surrendered in spirit's plan and in the wholeness of this connection. Let's see if they have anything else for us to say here. Yeah, I mean, this is what, this is what they're going to become and this is what you're going to become. It's like a wizard hermit and an empress high priestess, right? Illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. Discernment, clear vision, and details. So that's where you're headed. You just really need to trust in divine plan. And they want you just really to protect your energy. Um, you know, these are the next two cards that come out. Joy and take action. So I like them, like, take action towards joy. Right? You know, the opal, it lights up when you shine light on it, right? So I hope this has helped you. They do see this Ten of Cups with you. You know, that's the light at the end of the tunnel. But this has to take place first. And, oh, look, it's a moonstone. Um, you have to... It's going to come back around again. And if you don't make a different choice, the cycle will repeat, right? This is the cycle that's been repeating. So, you know, this is who you've kind of like been getting. And then he leaves again. Okay, I hope that's helped. Um, Again, if you want help with this, I'm offering two gigs on Fiverr, a soulmate and a twin flame. Either will work for twin flame. Um, I'll leave the links below. Those will, whatever you purchase, you'll get the next level up service automatically between 1111 and 1122. And then you'll get, once you leave a review for me, a special um divine feminine healing video about moving out of these type of cycles and stuff is what I'm going to be talking about. So, um, I wish you so much love on your journey. I wish you, I am so appreciative of everyone on this journey and I truly want to help you, um, in any way that I can. So know that. And, um, thank you for supporting my channel. It means the world to me. Bye for now.